Hi peeps! So I'm going to a wedding today and I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity because I'm actually putting on some makeup for once that I'd get do a get ready with me. Obviously as all mums know it's not as easy as it used to be you just get in the shower an hour before you went get ready and go. This will be kind of a stage thing because Freddie's asleep at the minute. Managed to do my nails and have a shower in his nap time so I'm sure he'll be awake soon. So, I'm just going to put some moisturiser on. I love this stuff. It is L'Oreal Hydrogenous Genius Aloe Vera Water. So, I've scrubbed my face in the shower and I use, have always used St Ives face scrub. <laughs> Tackle this. Get a tangled mess. My hair just comes out in clumps, look. So, all brushed. This is the oil that I use. It's Matrix Indian Amla, Amla? Um, Strengthening Oil. There's Matrix do loads of different kinds. Um, this is just the one I use because I've got the blonde in the bottom, so it's st trying to strengthen my hair. But absolutely brilliant! This I can't go out without putting that on the ends because you know that kind of fluffy texture your hair goes sometimes after curling or anything like that. You run your fingers through with the oil, and it kind of breaks up your hair and makes it look all silky and shiny and lovely. limited plug spaces in this house now as you can see it's beautifully um, decorated and we're pretty much dry using GHDs to curl my hair. I use a very hairy um, detangler to brush my hair and the shampoo and conditioner I use is the Matrix, I don't know, it's in a red bottle and it's like for damaged hair I think. Some lips that I want to change, make more curly. Once I've done that, poke myself in the eye, put some of this in. I actually didn't put this in before I washed my hair, did I? Uh, dye my hair, did I? Just got it out to show you and then didn't actually put it in. What a donut! Makeup time! We've got Freddie and Tommy coming in and out. This is the only bedroom that's got like I don't know anything in it so you'll have to excuse them so I don't normally wear foundation on a day to basis I just wear day to day basis that one looks better do you think this one yeah what do you think I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on this is the Clinique 
a dramatically different different moisturising lotion. Uh, a bit of a rash and a bath. No matter how much time you give yourself, you don't give yourself enough, do you? It's fun. I'm not really used to doing my makeup in a camera. So let's hope this goes well, actually. I might just have a little mirror here to make sure I'm doing, actually making myself look alright because I don't want to go finish, look in the mirror and realise I look like a bit of an empty. So I just put Maybelline Fit Me in number 10, under my eyes to brighten my eyes up. Yeah, I don't normally wear foundation on a day to day basis. I normally wear um, moisturising, a uh, tinted moisturiser, a number seven one. When I'm going out, I like to try and cover the, especially at the minute, my skin's disgusting, so um, try and cover my skin a little. More full coverage, um, especially then it lasts lasts the day. I'm going to use Scrimmel um, Match Perfection in with an SPF of 20 in 201 Classic Beige. So, as I said before, I'm not a makeup artist. I do everything my way and not the right way. But this is how I do it, so not everyone's the same, not everyone does everything how I'm meant to do. This is just my quick way. attempt to cover this Ooh, a bit much um to cover this spot up I'm just gonna use the same the concealer with the same brush perhaps no it's not gonna go we're just gonna have to go with it so that is my foundation I'm trying to keep my hair back but I don't wanna Get rid of my curls either. Um, I'm going to put some of this on top, which is the Studio Max Mac Fix in NC. The sponge came out in um, NC30. I'm just going to pop a bit of this on with my Real Technique blush brush. These are all for the right things, aren't I? Isn't it? It is matte bronzing, bronzing, matte bronze, bronzing powder from Mac. So, just like that. So I'm going to use a bit of that. 
just to make me look a bit more tan, make my face match my body. Eye glow. It's eye glow. It's the, the brand CID, I think. But a bit of that on. It's quite nice because I'm not a shimmer person or anything like that. But this, I wouldn't know really what to do with it. But this has got a shimmer in the blusher, so it kills up two birds with one stone, as they say. Just a little bit of blush. Next, I'm going eyebrows. I use the True Brunette Fluid Line Brow Cream Gel Mac. Just a little gel like that. And Mac 266 brush, I think. Just a little eyebrow brush. And this, I, I'm going to have to do in my mirror because I have to finish the scene. That is my eyebrows and even probably not. What I'll have to do. I have no what I have eyeshadow actually. I'm gonna say everything is in boxes. I'm gonna have to work with one of these. I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow. But I feel like it's a good occasion for the wedding to wear some. <laughs> This palette from collection and it is Biscuit. The colour biscuit. So I've done a bit you can't really see it at all. Dry. Now I'm going to put a bit of Maybelline Master Precise maybe um, liquid eyeliner. I like it with the long, long nib like that. Can't really do these. I'm not very good. So I'm just going to have a very, very quiet, close look. With Look. Oh, hello little head. Yeah, ready change now and then I'll show you the finished look.